The Five Minute Book Review, Episode 3. Today we're taking a look at the quote, most celebrated graphic novel of all time. Not sure what that means, but we're talking, of course, about The Watchmen. This masterpiece is, of all things, a 1980s period piece set during the Cold War. Long story short, a bunch of retired costume crime fighters come out of retirement to try to stop someone or something which may or may not be killing retired costume crime fighters. If you're not familiar with the graphic novel, I'm sure you've either heard about or seen the 2009 movie adaptation, which played that five-star Billy Corgan song during the initial trailer. Does it make you happy? You're so strange. I love the Smashing Pumpkins anyways. What am I doing here? Right, The Watchmen up for debate today. Ian wins the coin toss to start. Five-minute book review today, and we're talking about The Watchmen. This is the graphic novel of graphic novels. It is the graphic novel that if you write graphic novels, you wish you'd written this graphic novel. The reason for it is simple. There are layers. Layers upon layers upon layers. You go through this book, you read a panel, that panel has five different things going on in it. Most people will know this book now if they didn't before, just simply because of the movie. The movie is good. I'm not gonna sit here and say it isn't, but it is not this book. This book has so much going on in it that you can't get in the movie. There's all this stuff, there's these other books, there's pages of journals, of biographies, of autobiographies in between of police reports that you read as you're going that fill out the story more. It's more than just what's on the panel, what's in the page. It goes so far beyond that. It is a total vibe, it is a total feeling, and that's just not reflected in the movie. If you are going to watch the movie, simply put, you need to read this first, otherwise you're missing stuff. Oh, no. Would you be more wrong, Ian? You need to see the movie first. I'm not going to sit here and say I didn't love the book because I did. Great graphic novel. I'm not going to disagree. One of the best graphic novels of all time. Played out way better as a movie. I'm sorry. I know I'm probably in the minority that thinks that, but way better in movie form. Uh, I love books and I love comic books, but man, making the transition between this and then to that in between chapters, it really hurt my brain. I couldn't do it. I found this part extremely boring. And I know you took this out of the movie, but they added an 80s soundtrack, which makes it work so much. I was so excited when I heard the 80s music. It just really added that extra layer that was removed by that. The, the, the soundtrack, Ian, Tears for Fears, when Ozzy Mendias is uh, in his lobby and you're hearing an elevator version of Tears for Fears, that was great. The biggest complaint I heard about the movie, which is ridiculous, is that they took out that wraparound pirate story, which took up so much of the novel and was it was just it, it was interruption after interruption. That's what people didn't like about the movie. They would have rather had an extra hour of someone on a pirate ship. Are you kidding me, Ian? Well, that was actually produced as a uh, standalone DVD, so if people want it, it is out there. I think the necessity of it is is just simply that it's it's akin to Hamlet's play within the play concept, right? You learn about the story by reading that story. It's part of it, but that just goes to say what I was saying. It is one of the layers that's missing. And 80s soundtrack, yes, the 80s soundtrack was awesome. This is set in the mid-80s, 80s soundtrack awesome, but you can buy the CD for the movie and listen to it at home while you're reading the graphic novel. Just that easy. Oh, it plays out way better as a movie. I'm going to disagree with you then. The movie's quite long. Yeah, once you get it on DVD, split it up, watch it over two days in the comfort of your armchair. It is going to be a fantastic watch. Again, watch the movie first, then read the book. Both are actually kind of scary in how relevant they are when they talk about war and everything. It's, it's scary. It's scarily ahead of its time. Don't listen to what Ian, I know he's probably making mouth. He's mouthing words right now during my time. He's in black and white. He's not allowed to talk. But Watchmen, Ian, you're coming back to color here. Really, the movie over the book, not. You would rather read the book first? Are you kidding oh, me? Oh, definitely. No, if you go Ian, watch, no. I talk to a lot of no. people. Like, I mean, you know what? There were people who prefer the movie to the graphic novel. They yeah. say it's better. It's yeah. mainly because they haven't read the graphic That's novel. That's not true. Oh, it's very it's true. It's so not true, Ian. There this, is this, so much there are so many this dead ends in this where it's just harsh transition and then you pick up something else in the movie. It's got flow. It's got oh, color. No, no, it no. moves, Ian. This, the it, story is designed to be read at a slow pace over a long period of time in the movie. It just pushes you along without giving you a chance to really sink into what's well, happening. Well, I guess that's a testament to the movie and the movie makers, because I didn't find that. I thought the movie was a much more enjoyable experience, just way too long, cut it in half. Whereas, you know, I guess to that extent, it's maybe the book, book does play out a little bit more, but I found it was harder to pick up the book because there's so many, you know, oh, what was what happened last time? Was it the pirate story? Was it the text part? Was it, uh, you know, Rorschach? Was it Mr. Manhattan? I, I, I can't, you know. It's one of those, it takes three hours to watch the movie and probably three days to read the book, so you're screwed either way. Watch this, read it, yes or no, Ian? Read it, read watch it, it, do both. Watch the movie first, though. No. Yeah, Ian. No. Put him in black and white, quick. No.